Okay guys, the whole purpose of this video is going to show you how to remove scratches. Okay, now the only reason I like stainless steel guns is because of freaking scratches. And I don't really care for bead blasted guns because they're hard to fix the scratches. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you the guns empty. I do have a dummy rod in it. That will come out. Okay, but you see it's empty, right? See that? Okay. This is a stainless steel gun. Okay, as you can see, you can see reflections. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over, and we're going to go right there. We're going to scratch it on purpose. I'm not going to do a real deep scratch, but I'm going to make a little scratch. And I have a pair of scissors. And uh, for this, we're going to need, this is 400 grit sandpaper. And this is... Megan mother, uh, Mother's Megan wheel polish and uh, I got a Q-tip in here. Yeah. I don't really need a Q-tip, but Q-tip or an eraser. Mm -hmm. so I'll just, just use an eraser for now. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna. I mean, this is uh, you know a $5,000 gun. Okay, so you can see right here, I'm gonna do. Let's bring this down closer, and it does not have a scratch. See that? There's no scratches. So I'll wipe that down like that. See how you're looking there? Okay. We'll go ahead and scratch it. Here's my this, my thing. And let's say you were just changing, you know, you know, taking it down and get a little idiot scratching it. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and scratch it. You see the scratch I put in there? So now there's a there's a physical scratch in the gun. See it? Okay. So normally you'd be all bent out of shape. All you really have to do, and you can get 400 or higher. Um, you take an eraser. Okay. okay. You know that's not going to come out because the scratch is still there. See it? Take your paper and just go in one direction and back and forth a little. Okay. Let's shiver some lightning. Okay. okay, I'm just taking this and I'm going to time lapse it in a minute. But you go back and forth. Very slowly, just on the spot. Okay. You see how slowly that scratch is disappearing? You can barely see it anymore. See how it's it's in there still. So just go a little bit more, and you know, just go like that. You can go back and forth, back and forth, and um, okay. Now I gotta show you something here, guys. This is why I love stainless steel guns. Now look at the scratch, it's almost gone, see it? It's there, but it's very faint, see it? See it, the scratch is there. So, go back in again. Just kind of go along with the, the gun. Like do do do. I'm not even worried, it seems it's a little harder there, there. Ba ba ba. Okay, basically, looks like it's almost gone. I don't even see it hardly anymore. Take your punch, I mean your racer. Barely see it. Now get some polish. This is Mother's Mega Wheel Polish. Put it in your racer. Right there, and just go. Okay. It's gonna get a little crappy. It's not gonna look too good. So, remember, put your finger a little. Okay. And I can see that scratch is actually gone. Now all you have to do is polish it. With. So you can get a piece of paper. Paper is like the perfect thing to polish it with. And uh, like I said, this is mainly going to work if you know you have uh, 
polished stainless because it was brushed. I mean, it was bead blasted, it'd be a pain in the ass. So, because then you'd be, there's methods for that too. Now, basically, you see, your scratches are gone. So, you could just, you know, put a little bit of that polishing compound, go a little back over it like this. La la la. Hoppa hoppa hoppa, you know. You know, get a little bit more in there. Q tip works the best. I just don't have any Q tips right now. Just, you know, don't. Cause you're like polishing it anyway, so I'm just get in there. And if you had a Q tip, you could use a Q tip or a rag. Paper, believe it or not, is very good to polish anything. Get in there and just hammer down a little. Just put some elbow crease in there. But And let's see. I'm just about down here. I'm actually polishing it a little too while I do this. I've got a rag. Let me get a rag here. Any kind of sock or something. So rub along there and blah blah blah. And you can see basically scratch is gone. And, uh, you know you could polish in there if you want to. Um, I like polishing the gun anyway so I'm going to pull a little bit more in there. And the nice thing about polish, you know, stainless steel guns, especially uh, like a, a brush stainless, that's even better because you know it's going to shine anyway. It's going to look pretty good. You can do it that. You're getting that's going down there. And then just a little piece of paper again, blah, blah, blah. Q-tips work really good. But how many people would put a scratch in a $5,000 gun <laughs> to do this, okay? So. You can see, now, it's just about gone. And paper, like I say, is a very good thing to polish with. And you just, you know, hit it like that a little. There, it's just about gone. You wet it a little. Ah. Okay, you're gone. Your scratch is totally gone now. And, uh, never worse for wear. And that scratch is totally gone now. Uh, you know, I, I have a little in there because I did the sandpaper, but you can just uh, put a little bit more polishing compound, just a little bit on the rag or on the paper, and just you know, ever so lightly just rub it in there. Uh, you can if you want to. If you don't want your bee blasting to get polish on, you can mask that off with just some, like some blue pa painter's tape or masking tape. But to me, I don't really care. Cause I'd rather have it polished up a little when we get right in there. That's why I like stainless steel cuts. I mean, you couldn't do this with a freaking Desert Eagle. You know, you couldn't even do it with a polymer gun. It's just scratching. It's just there for life. And uh, look how nice you get this shine. <laughs> look at this shine everything up while I'm at it, see? Yeah, just, just polishing it up. And we're going to polish them. I'm going to polish this side a little too when I'm at it. Do, do, do. That's mm -hmm. Okay, and then uh, put a little get it wet. Just uh, you can wipe off some of that polish. Just and you can see basically that scratch is gone. And I could polish it even more. I could make it, you know, it, you know, it's, it's just gone for all intents and purposes. But that is basically how you go ahead and polish out a scratch. Um, in a stainless steel gun. Like I said, you can't really do it. Um, you can kind of do it in a bead blasted, but uh, you really you, you can and you can't, you know, because the bead blasted ones, uh, the bead blasted guns, 
you have this surface here and it's very hard to clean that up um, to get rid of it. You have to kind of take your sandpaper and kind of go like that and press down and kind of and you can you can get it you can you can you know get any scratches you got in there but you have to take it and just go like 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 that kind of push down like you know just very low very lightly if you're trying to match it so you can do it but if you get scratches it's no big deal on stainless steel you could you could take those out with no problem but that's what I wanted to show you um, and like I say this is doing it on a five thousand dollar gun but now the scratches are gone it's just a little dirt on it you see we don't have the scratch anymore it's gone see nothing but uh, thanks for tuning into my video please tell me what you think and uh, hope you have a great day